Crimeans voted overwhelmingly on Sunday to break away from Ukraine and join Russia in a referendum the West condemned as illegal. With half the ballots counted, 95.5% of Crimea residents voted to break away from Ukraine, according to local officials. Crimea's government said voter turnout was strong throughout the peninsula, which is dominated by ethnic Russians who see the referendum as an opportunity to return Crimea home and to receive more economic support for an area dependent largely on tourism. Crimea is also home to Ukrainians, as well as Crimean Tatars, who account for more than 12% of the population. The Tatars, who are skeptical of Kremlin rule after their deportation under Stalin in the 1940s, largely boycotted the referendum, calling it illegal. U.S. and European Union officials immediately rejected the results after early exit polls, saying the international community should respond with concrete measures against Russia for its violation of Ukraine's sovereignty. Russian troops have been occupying positions across the peninsula since late February. Meanwhile, Ukraine's acting defense minister announced Ukraine and Russia had agreed to a truce until Friday, suggesting Russia wouldn't move to take over Ukrainian bases immediately after the referendum. He suggested a standoff would continue. Ніхто Крим залишати не буде. Це однозначно. Тому зараз обстановка щодо наших військових частин і блокування нормалізувалася. Я думаю, що як було досягнуто на перемирії до 21 числа, вона такої буде зберігатися. The Kremlin press service said Russian President Vladimir Putin believes the referendum was being conducted in full accordance with international law and that Russia will respect its results.